It's you again. What is it? Anne. He tenses immediately. Chest tightens. Jaw sets. Ready for another blow. That fucking fucker. You're the worst cops in Revishaw. I gave you gold on that tape. That fucker wasn't aimed at you. It was at her. You smell weakness. He's getting tired of the game he's been playing. You caught him off balance. Push, and he will give way. Locker room talk. What are you, fucking brain dead? I've been to plenty of locker rooms. They don't plan rapes there. Sounds like he wanted it to change her mind about the hanged man. This is definitely personal. What did she have to say then? Fine by her? This is what people are supposed to be like? Fucking whoop de doo Yes. In fact, I think she thought it was a little funny. Funny. No good goddamn psycho whore. Seems like they wanted to give Clasia a second chance to play along. She still didn't. It's good then. Fucking. Please try to control yourself in the presence of visitors, Titus. This is just perfect. Just fucking perfect. Any thoughts on this, lawmen? Women are crazy. Irrational. That's what you're thinking, right? Also, your fists are itching for a bump. Nah. I know her. She's just a girl. In over her head. What kind of pro? Out saying she's a hooker? No. He's not saying that. Forget about it. Yeah, they're all queers. Can't bump hard fist or anything. It's all right, Glenn. I just thought, gee, I thought anyone would come around if they heard that shit. Apparently, I was wrong. Yeah. That was fucked up. He wanted her to see the man for what he was. Now that you know, you might want to lay off this topic, or else you might antagonize him. I just got too worked up. Big man lost his shit. It's cool now. I already told you. We fucking hanged him. There's less gusto in his voice now. His men too are growing increasingly silent. They're confused. This is growing over their heads. Come on, Titus. We know you didn't hang him. He was shot. I know you're tired. So am I. Why don't you just... You know what? I am tired. I'm tired of you and the whore upstairs. Next time, 
you see her, tell her, Titus said. Fuck off! This is the petulant rage of someone who's at the end of their wits. That lion scamming. We're done. This is over. You understand? Your little investigation is over. Yeah. On the floor, bear drips out of the can into a small puddle. No one does anything about it. What is this quiet funeral shit? What we need is some beers in us. Bartender! Twenty beers for the dock workers union! Why do we make it forty, huh? Why do we make it a hundred beers? You're not loud enough! A hundred beers? Now we're talking. Hoppity hop over here, cafeteria manager. The window might be closing. The more beers they get in them, the less cooperative they will be. Convince Titus he's being manipulated. You should know by now. Titus Hardy will never falter. But you know someone who might. Fat Angus, the powerful guy. Mr. All Muscle. The time has come. Put him in the pressure cooker. Just remember it's about more than Glazia. It's about these men and Martinez, their district, their responsibility. Outside in the evening light, ruined and old, shadows lengthen on the pavement, a distant gunshot. He'll get it. Go on. Got it. Kill you because they don't like you. All because... Bring that up one more time, and you won't get to write that report. The man's fists under the table are bald. You can tell from his neck and shoulders. He means it. Yes, I understand, Alan. That's your name, right, Alain? You'll kill us. That's what they do in the Wild North. It wasn't that. It wasn't. We didn't shoot him. That's it. That's the weak one. You flushed him out. Now go in for the... Officer, you will be next if you don't shut up. Firearm. A Glass Zero 8 or a 38 caliber pistol. Either is small enough for you to have missed. He's onto you. He knows what you're trying to do. Steal yourself. Push on. Just ignore Theo.
The lieutenant has put down his notebook. His hand is resting on his holster. He gives you an imperceptible nod. What? What does that mean? Go for it. The lieutenant has his eyes set on the fat guy. Push Angus. We're almost there. We didn't kill him. We didn't even hang him. He was dead when... <laughs> Shut up, Angus! Fatty! Say one more thing to the cops and I'll... Dennis! Stand down, or I'll beat your head in. Theo, take your hand off the belt. This isn't 31. I've got this under control. Does he? His closed fist is shaking. It's you who's in control. Let them have their moment. <sighs> Angie, where's your goddamn inhaler? You sound like you're dying. I left it home. I can't get it. I'm too fucked. I'm sorry. Why are you so fucking fat, Angus? Now it's all pointless. Because of you. You wasted my time. I told you, Titus. I told you just give her up. Lizzie, your help is no longer needed here. Go tell Everard. Fine. I'll tell him. After a long walk along the coast. What just happened between these two? You're in. He's all yours. Questions. The lieutenant gives a smile only you can see. He nods. You hanged the corpse to cover up the real cause of death. The bullet in his head. Another nod. Cause the girls asked us to. They were in some shit. Girls plural? There's another girl. Two of them. Take note of this. They'll probably say more about her later. Did she kill him? Cop, I have no idea. The girl says she didn't. He doesn't think she did. Or at least he hopes she didn't. Class J came down. She seemed really out of it. Drugged up, even more than usual. Bug-eyed and gurning, you know. Not in a fun way. It looked like she'd redosed after something went down. I've seen that look before. She was scared. I knew someone had died. I've done this job for ten years. I've seen it before. It's the politician in the motel room with the dead hooker scenario. Only in reverse. Good analogy, boss. <laughs> you don't get to talk yet, Chinky. You're still on the bench. And you keep taking it easy too, Angus. That's okay with the fat man still wheezing there. He couldn't speak if he wanted to. We went upstairs. Sure as day the Merc was dead. There was a bullet hole through the window. That fucking... Dirty sheets and bottles everywhere. He means they'd been fucking? Tibbs patched the window. And the corpse. We hanged. 
Nah, he's my brother. He's in the window replacement business. Tips. That's short for. Yeah. Good man. Bet their father's name, Atticus Hardy. Lucretia Hardy would be their sister. Anyway. You may have noticed our girls in some shit of her own. Oh, you meant that kind of training. Like a spy. Maybe. The kind of people who are after her. I guess she'd have to be. They're powerful. Connected to the moral intern. She's clearly afraid for her life. Says if she showed up in your systems, she'd be ghosted away. That's all he knows. That's all she's told him. And why would you help someone like that? By taking on a murder? Why would I? I guess we abide all sorts of runaways and losers here. It's a Martinez thing. Not yet. Just some ideas. She says the shot came from outside, behind the window somewhere. So that's a clue. I'm thinking someone's past caught up with them. Either hers or his. Hers, you mean? I mean the people after Klausia. Maybe the shot missed. Maybe it was meant for her. I like that. Been thinking the same thing myself. My dude. One of those mercenary buddies of his could have done it. They got guns. Training. Years of bad blood, probably. Or it could have been someone else from Cronell. Tell you what I'd do. Check out the coast for vantage points. Maybe consult with a ballistics buddy of mine. That's what I'd do. If I wasn't too busy doing this clown dance with you. He's calm now. Threw all that turmoil away and became himself again. These theories, not bad. Don't buy either one, but still. This guy's not as dumb as he looks. In a manner of speaking. Remember the two girls? He may be talking about the other one. That's right. It was her idea to hang him. I liked it for political reasons. It sent a good message. Fella, you think too much. He's off all right. You're gonna hurt your head. A little too far there, but you're definitely right. That woman is just affiliated with the Hardy Boys. You don't know her, anyway. We're Hardy Boys, and that's it. Nope. You're not getting to her. It's Klausia you want to talk to. Me too. You do that. Hey, cop. Before you go. Suddenly, the wind picks up outside. You hear it rattling the large windows in their frames. It carries newspapers circles the whirling in rags in a warm column. She, Klausia, came to Martinez to hide. Many of us did. This is where you wash up when there's nowhere left to go. The Union takes you in. Now, she refused that protection, but... Still, after all this headache, that's right. If we didn't take care of the people who end up here, this place would just be a couple of ruins and some cargo containers. We'll take that into account. 